Well, we just arrived in San Juan La Union. We brought our own food. Yeah, we brought our food takeaway from the Baguio because I know I will be hungry and let me show you our small place. Now I will share my estimated cost of living to retire early for 1140 US per month in San Juan La Union in the Philippines, including estimated rents, utilities, groceries, restaurants, transportation, and entertainment. But first, I'll show you around San Juan and San Fernando La Union so you'll know whether or not you're even interested in retiring early for cheap here. This is our place here. It's on the beach and it's, it's a lot of mosquito. So we have this one. <laughs> our room is called Kitty and <laughs> we just arrived. So it's just a room with AC. It's have a good internet, it's have a water boiler and it's a shared toilet with another two units. So this is the place. And this is our small cottage. Is that nice? When's the last time you had a beer on the beach for one dollar? That's what this is. There's a barbecue and one dollar local beers. Pilsen. They have expensive foreign stuff if you're into it, but kind of cool. This is a local style place, all locals in here, so you're gonna get barbecue, pork, and chicken, all the stuff Chung loves to eat. This is gonna be here for really reasonable price. And you can watch people surf. It's a great, great atmosphere here. It's really chill. There's no huge waves here, but if you're a surfer, you know, it's it's really fun if you can ride anything. And uh, so here they are. There, it seems like there's a lot of longboards here, which is not unusual in this kind of smaller wave. Because it's easier to catch a wave with a longer board. There you go. Let's go surfing now. Everybody surfing now. There's a bunch of them like this one. This is a 50 cent beer or dollar beer place on the beach. There's Chunk. Enjoying the sunset. There's a cover band over there playing Stevie Wonder. They're a superstition. And I don't know what, uh, oh, this is the food court we were at earlier on the other side. No music coming out of there though. Wow, we just walk around here. Here, it's totally different. I don't feel I'm in the Philippines because they have a lot, a lot of places that you can choose for your beer on the beach. <laughs> you want yeah. to pay 80 peso for a beer, 110 peso for a beer, or 50 peso for a beer. Mm.
Do you want to go half half? Sure. Okay. Not a bad life. Not a bad life. There's a beach out there. We're watching surfers. It's a good life if you can work it out somehow. <laughs> Must be scientific. It takes quite a long time to get a breakfast. Huh? Yeah. It's definitely a chill place. Very chill place. Yeah, you don't want to be in a hurry when you go to the beach. This beach is special. <laughs> Beach. It's pretty hot, so we're gonna go jump in the water. Oh, it's pretty hot on the feet. We're in a rocky, <laughs> rocky part of the beach, so we're just laying down like about 18 inches of water. There's better beaches, but we just wanted to cool off. Oh, it's nice that they cool off. Oh, feels good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little spot between the rocks here. Ah, it's like the kiddie pool. <laughs> we're, we're in the kiddie pool. Woo! Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Woo! Chen wants to have a mango. And here's the mango cellar. Mangoes. And this is what they're doing. They open the mango like a flower in Colombia. It's a shrimp paste. It's a shrimp paste. She was going to get vinegar, but she thought I wanted some. I was like, no, enjoy your shrimp paste. It's a cool place it's called Clean Beach. The food isn't overwhelming, but it's kind of cool music and atmosphere and stuff. And it's, as you might expect, it's priced for tourists. So they have a few of these food courts around town. Yeah. Thought we would show you one. They have just a bunch of different little individually owned restaurants that you get to pick from. We, uh, we found something I can eat, so. <laughs> This is a curry rice, this is beans, there is for this vegetarian guy, and I got my fish soup, this giant. So Super big chunks of fish. I cannot finish oh it. It's really crazy at 7 o'clock. Saturday in the park, I think it was 4th of July. We've been to this bar, Monkey yeah, Mad Monkey. monkey. Yeah. This was a very nice spa, it's very place, very nice music. I'm gonna have an Indian burrito. So Bebo's Bombay Burritos. That must be Bebo over there. And we ordered two different kinds. Mushroom hummus. And uh, oh, here comes Alo Gobi. Yay! Our team wins. We good? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Bebo, we loved it. Oh, thanks so much. It's very nice. It's very clever too. Bebo's Bombay Burrito. Yes, yeah, BBB. <laughs> yeah, the triple B. Where, 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 where'd you grow up? Where'd you grow up? Here, I was born and raised. Wow. Uh, Philippines. We lived in a brief stint in San Francisco. Okay. Six years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, all my life. Yeah. Very clever. Very clever. We we really enjoyed it. So. We had, a, we had a really good, we'll be back. Uh, you guys uh, visiting a bit long term? Yeah, we're here probably for a week or two. We're not sure yet, so yeah. Yes. Enjoy thanks, your time. Thanks so much, Viva. Thank thought we'd show you the beach here tonight, the Saturday night. So it's like the end of summer, the last hurrah.
we're back in Mexico. Actually, no. We're in the Philippines trying Mexican food. <laughs> And we're coming to you from La Union in the Philippines. We are right now in San Juan. Um, we are going to San Fernando, La Union. It's right next door. <laughs> we're going to tour you around and show you that part. Uh, this is an area in the Philippines where some people do retire and so we thought it would be important to show it to you. And right now we're on the roof of our apartment and look at this view behind us. Just amazing. We're going to rent a scooter today so we can show you more places more quickly. How are you this morning, sir? The, li the lighthouse was locked, so we weren't able to climb up. We don't know if that's normal or what, but there was a path if you go around to the right, and it'll take you down here. Beautiful little path, not, not too long probably maybe 50 meters or something. You can't see it, but Vietnam's way over there. <laughs> so this is San Fernando Town Plaza. This is like the arch here of the city. This is the central part where City Hall is and the oldest church and all that's all around here. And then the church over here. So this is the church of San Fernando, La Union. Catholic, of course, this is a national church. This is built in 1764. Hello, hello. That's the Filipino version of like a candy ice cream sort of thing. They vary so much, it's hard to really describe, but it's it's sweet, it has ice, it has a bunch of fun little things, sometimes beans and nuts. And this is the famous one in this city, so even though we haven't had lunch, we're gonna ruin our lunch. That's the cool thing about being a grown-up. When you're a kid, they say, you can't, you don't ruin your supper with dessert, but we get to ruin every meal if we want. It's the beauty of being an adult. Look at this buko halo halo. Is it coconut halo halo? Yeah, buko means coconut. Oh, you keep talking, I can't eat it. <laughs> She's trying my tricks now. It's uh, $4. Dollar. Yeah, four bucks. Four bucks. It's pretty serious though. I'm sure it has coconut in it. That looks like the yam. Yam, yeah, yam ice cream. Yeah, it's yeah. It looks like there's peanut and coconut shavings on top. I better shut up and eat. So this is the public market. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 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 This is the drum tower there, the one on the left. And there's a pagoda up on the mountain over there. Hopefully we can sneak up there and show it to you. This is like a warehouse grocery store in San Fernando. I mean, everything's here. Food, well, I'll show you. This is the produce department. The prices are not too bad. Not too bad. One piece is 33 pesos. How much was it at the market? It's about 30 or 50 or 35 pesos, which is good. See what I mean? They even have toilets, sinks, tile. They got it all. Bicycles. They even have hardware. 
it's all here. CSI supermarket in San Fernando. And they have all this food you can eat too. Which is also a little bit like a like a Costco. So this is a restaurant in San Fernando called Buhai Gule. And it's it's vegetarian or vegan your choice. Chung's having a teriyaki and barbecue. Barbecue meat. Barbecue meat and uh, I'm having a sweet and sour tofu, Very a good. tomato tofu, and a sisi. Very, Very good. good. Very nice. Bye -bye. So this is Robinson's. There's a food court. Yeah, churro over there. Oh, churros. Let's see what else. Oh, we have Chinese food over there, Macau. Sea shack, must be fish. Oh, and there's Movie World. I don't know what movies are playing. So Chung's in her element here. She's uh, the Grand National Champion of uh, street food. Her, the, I think the reason she's won eight years in a row for na the national championships is because of her nose. She can sniff out a, a good meal. Yes, sir. Miranda. A cheap meal. And uh, a spicy meal. Good. Um, seafood, but I didn't see a seafood here, like a barbecue yeah. seafood. Yeah? yeah? Okay, I promised to share the cost of living in San Juan, Philippines. Uh, here's our estimated cost of living converted into U.S. dollars for the two of us if we move to San Juan La Union in the Philippines on a tight budget. But we are all different, so you'll have to put your feet on the ground in San Juan to determine your cost of living based on how you would live, shop, eat, and entertain yourself. Okay, rents. You'll, you will see furnished one bedrooms, apartments in the range of about 15,000 to 25,000 pesos per month or 268 to 500 US dollars per month if we were willing to rent for a period of a year or more. Here's a place we found online that was 15,000 pesos per month. That's about $300 a month. This will probably no longer be available when you read the report. So just Google long-term apartments for rent in San Juan La Union to see what it's, is available when you read this. Okay, so for this estimate, I'll use 400 per month for rent for long-term rental for our estimate, which does not include utilities. But make sure to read my report, How to Find Perfect Properties Around the World. Okay, utilities. San Juan La Union is at sea level, so we would need to run our air conditioner for most of the year. Our electricity would run around $70 to $90 per month, and gas and water would run another $20 per month, so about $110 per month for our estimated utilities which would vary uh, by season, of course. Okay, groceries. Based on our time here and the money we spent on groceries, we estimate about 350 US per month on groceries for the two of us. We would shop mostly in the public market where the vegetables, fruits, rice, and meats are cheaper and only go to the more expensive expat style grocery stores for things we could not find in the public market. Restaurants. If we went out to eat twice per week, once for date night and once for lunch somewhere, plus some street food, we would spend around $40 per week or $160 per month in restaurants for the two of us. We would eat mostly in the mom and pop style restaurants and food carts rather than the expensive expat style restaurants. Okay, cell phone data. The cost to recharge our prepaid service is about $16 per month. My Android phone will act as a hotspot so we can both be on the internet at the same time when we are out of the house together. 
laundry. Our laundry cost us $4 to wash, dry, and fold at the local drop-off and pick-up laundry for the week. So we would spend about $16 per month for laundry. Water. We would spend about $8 per month on drinking water. They have reverse osmosis refills for about 40 pesos for 20 liters, which is about 5 gallons. We would drink about 10 of those per month, or 400 pesos, or around $8 per month delivered. Our internet would be about $50 per month. Here's the speed test on the internet we had in our temporary Airbnb rental. We could easily get by on these speeds for our needs. Okay, transportation. San Fernando and San Juan um, are spread out quite a bit, so we would probably buy a used scooter for around $600 and spend around $30 per month on fuel. Alcohol. Alcohol is optional, of course. Local beers are about $1 in grocery stores, if you watch and buy in bulk, you may be able to save a little. Bars charge in the range of about $1.60 to $2 per beer. So for the two of us, we estimate about $120 per month since we would drink more at home. Entertainment is also optional. We would budget about $160 per month for entertainment for the two of us. Okay, let's add that up. Um, so rent, $400. Groceries, 350 Utilities, 110 Restaurants, 160 Cell phones, 16 Laundry, 16 Water for 8 Internet for 50 And transportation for $30 a month. That all adds up to $1,140 per month. Alcohol as optional would add it at 120 Would bring it up to 1260 and optional entertainment at $160, you would be at $1,420 per month. Now, this is our estimated cost of living if the two of us moved to San Juan La Union in the Philippines on a tight budget in today's dollars. To fully understand what it would cost you to live here, you must do an exploratory visit, put your feet on the ground. Also visit Numbio San Juan and add anything you spend money on in your home country that's not mentioned in the table. Our costs of living are generally lower than most people, but we are great bargain hunters. But there are a few people that can live cheaper than we do. Never move anywhere until you visited first personally to verify what your living costs would be for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices for you, these are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit and this post. Your costs will likely be drastically different depending on your lifestyle and the time since this post. More typical expat living costs in San Juan range from around $1,500 to $2,500 per month. But people spending that much also have higher incomes or pensions. They often report spending more on entertainment eating out more, and drinking more alcohol. Many also have more expensive cars, houses, or apartments. If you're going to try to retire offshore for cheap, make sure to read my report. The two biggest risks of retiring early for cheap offshore, which explains why you should have emergency funds available for unexpected large expenses. This video focused only on cheap living for a full report with links and maps to all of our on-the-ground research for San Juan, including restaurants, grocery stores, things to do, a nightlife map, where we stayed, visa information, walkability, weather, healthcare, social considerations, expat communities, and real estate, plus our overall retirement desirability score for San Juan La Union. Please click the first link in the notes below this video. Thanks for reviewing our report, Retire Early for 1140 USD a month in San Juan, La Union in the Philippines. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.